Good morning everyone. Today we're going to talk about your bone reading journal and how to set it up to be your guide, your friend, your mentor along the process of learning to read the bones for yourself. So I'm going to tell you how I set mine up and then you can see what works for you and what doesn't. So first of all I made a pretty cover because I'm all about being artistic and everything. Um, but it's not really what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside just like people. So, at the beginning of the book, you see I have um, printed out and glued some information from my website, carolinaconjure.com. And some of the topics I have here is what is bone reading, the role of the ancestors in bone reading, acquiring your bones, blessing the bones, and then I get into um, specific bones. So, in order to set up your bone reading journal, once you've got this basic information in the front of it that you want to record, uh, you're going to need a working set of bones. So, um, and then what you're going to do is, I suggest reserving at least two pages for each bone in your bone set. Now, on the right hand side, you're going to write what the bone is and what you think it means or what you feel it means. Then on the left hand side, you're going to keep track of certain bone combinations like if I pull this bone with this bone and I blend these two meanings what do they mean like I said in a previous example let's say you pull the man bone with the air bone this could represent an air-headed man because the air bone is associated with the color yellow it might represent a blonde haired man so um what I'm suggesting that you do is you're going to make bone reading or bone divination a part of your daily spiritual practices because bone reading is a spiritual practice and you can either do this at night or you can do this in the morning depending on whether you're a morning person or not now I'm gonna be 45 in a couple of weeks I was not always a morning person but the older I get the more I have energy in the morning I'm clearer in the morning so I do my divinations in the morning. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know that I post a daily divination, whether it's a bone, a tarot card, a Lenormand card, the Astro Dice, or something else. I Every day I post some sort of divination that I share with you guys. And I usually do that, in, and I always do that in the morning times. But again, if you're not a morning person, if you can't do this, do this ritual the evening before. And if you do it the evening before, there's some extra things I'm going to share with you that you could do. So basically, what are you going to? Well, what you're going to do each morning, and you can turn this into a little ritual, is you can find your little sacred space wherever you want to do it at a desk, on your bed, wherever, and you take out your <clears throat> bones, whether you keep them in a little bag or a little basket or what have you. You're going to pull one bone at random out of little sucker's not wanting to come out. Your bone bag. And here we have the bone of opportunity. So what I would do is I would take my journal and I would find the page where I have that bone in my bone journal and I would just start writing what I think this bone means. Um, so if you are not good at your handwriting or if you feel like you can type quicker than you can write or you're just a neat freak like me and don't want to write it in sloppily another thing I suggest is if you have your laptop you can open up your laptop open up an email type all your thoughts down in the email and then email it to yourself to review later and the easiest way to really figure out what the bones mean is one way is to free associate. So let's say, for example, we pulled a skull bone, right? So let's free associate on what the skull bone means. Well, I know the skull is the head of an animal. Uh, the head is ruled by Aries, the first sign in the zodiac. It's a leader, so leadership ability. Aries is ruled by Mars, which is the god of war. To go to war, you have to have kind of strategy. Uh, so maybe this bone is telling me that I need to think before I act, or I need to be more strategic. I need to think before I do something. Um, 
So see, that was really quickly. Or you can say, all right, another person might say, okay, the head is the seat of our consciousness. We take in information through our eyes and ears and we exchange information or give information back out with our words. So the, to that person, the head, may, the skull bone may represent the exchange of ideas or information. And you'll think, okay, well, today's going to be a kind of day where I'm giving out and receiving a lot of information. So those, those are two different thoughts of uh, lines of thought, but they're both valid, you know, and one may be valid for today and one may be valid for another day. So again, what you're going to do is write your thoughts down in some form. You can open up an email and email it to yourself. You can go ahead and write it in your journal. Uh, if you don't feel like you can write fast enough, you can open up a note on your iPhone, hit that little microphone, and dictate a note very quickly. Uh, the only thing about that you have to make sure is what you're saying is what's being transcribed, or if you can remember what you say later. So then, you can add other elements to this ritual. If you want to, you can light a candle, you can light some incense if you want to, in which I suggest you maybe start with a little prayer to your ancestors to help guide you. You might say something like, um, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, bone of my bone, guide me in the ways of your wisdom, encouragement, and courage. Help me to not only know but to understand. So that's really simple. You can just, or you can write a prayer, or uh, on your own, just something to call out to your ancestors to guide you through your bone reading. And then you've pulled your bone, you've written it down. Okay, so the next thing you might want to do is, if you can or want to, you can carry that bone with you as you go about your day. With the knowledge that whatever that meaning of that bone is to you, it's going to correlate to a person, idea, or event that happens to you on that day. If you feel like you don't want to risk losing the bone or damaging it, say for example, if I put a a wishbone in my pocket while I'm standing up, I'm sitting down, I'm moving around all day, I could squeeze that bone and break it so I don't want to damage the bone. So if you don't have a way of carrying it with you, another thing you can do is take that bone and put it on your ancestor altar and leave it there because what you're doing through this process of of meditating on a bone a day and, and asking your ancestors for guidance and then putting it the bone on your ancestor altar and maybe even talking to the ancestors while you're there, you are building up a language with your ancestors. You are mutually agreeing this bone means this so that when they have something they have to tell you, they're using the right word in the form of the bone that, that comes to you. So then you go about your day, you come home that evening, you've done all your chores, you had your supper, you've done your homework, whatever have you, and then you're ready to relax because you don't want to do this when you're stressed out. So then you open up that email that you sent yourself or you open up your bone journal and look at what you wrote and you think about how did the meaning of this bone correlate to something that happened to me that day. And then by doing that, you can create or discover new meanings for the bone, right? So then you write your notes down for that bone. And then the next day you do the same thing all over again. Now I'm going to rewind a little bit for those of you who are going to do this before you go to bed. So if you do this before you go to bed, you can do everything I said, pull your, you know, do your little ritual, pull out a bone, write about it, and then you can take that bone and put it under your pillow while you sleep. Again, if you're afraid it might be damaged, you can put it on your nightstand beside you. And then before you go to bed, maybe half an hour, you're going to maybe do this ritual. So that bone is going to be on your mind. Your ancestors, your spirit guides are going to be paying attention. When you go to sleep, pay attention to your dreams. Your ancestors, your guides, your own subconscious, they may or may not give you additional information about that bone that they will share with you through your dreams. And so when you wake up, you're going to have to write that down or, again, record it in some way for later. All right, so that's your ritual. Either you're going to do it in the evening before you go to sleep or the next morning when you wake up and then review it at the end of your day. Once you have gone through all the bones in your bone set, 
you're going to learn some things. For example, at some point or another, you're going to pull the same bone two days in a row. That does not mean that you skip that bone. What that normally means is either you did not learn the lesson of the meaning of that bone the first time you pulled it, or there's more that that bone and the guides have to teach you through that bone. So don't just skip over it again. Re um, meditate on that bone again. Dream on that bone again. Pay closer attention to what's going on in your life that may be in relation to that bone. And again, you're going to record all this in your bone journal. So, once you get comfortable reading one bone a day, the next step you're going to do is you're going to start reading two bones a day. So instead of pulling one bone out every day, you're going to pull two. And you're going to, you'll already have the meaning of these bones in your bone journal because you've already pulled all the bones before. And you're going to basically say, how do these two bones relate to one another? So let's say, for example, you pull the skull bone again and then you pull a breast bone. So you have your head and your heart. So these bones can either work together, your head and your heart can be in alignment, or they can be pulling apart. Think of someone who's in a relationship with someone who their head tells them, this is not a good person, this is not a likable person, this is not someone I need to be with, but their heart goes, oh, but I love him, or I love her. So their head and their heart is not in alignment. So maybe if you pull these two bones, you have to decide, are the bones reaffirming that I'm I'm in alignment with my spirit? Am I going in the right direction? Or is there some sort of division in myself? Is my head and my heart not in alignment? And here's the thing. As you go about your day, it may not be about you. It may be about a friend who comes to you and talks to you about their relationship or a, jo or a job opportunity. You know, maybe their head's telling them, oh, this is a great job for me. It's more money. But something in their heart is saying, mm, something don't feel right. I wouldn't take this job, you know. Um, it may be you may tune into your favorite TV show and, and a character on the TV show may be having some sort of conflict between the head and the heart. And so what's happening is it's reaffirming your divination for one thing. For another thing, there's a lesson for you to learn in what the other person's experience is. So then you're going to write, remember when I said you're going to have a place for bone combinations? You're going to write about those combinations in your journal. And this information is going to be very helpful to you when you start actually tossing the bones down on a mat and you see all these patterns of bones before you that you're going to have to try and make sense of. Um, let's see, so that's going to be it for this video. In my next video, I'm going to teach you a basic method of reading the bones in relation to specific questions or issues. For the, in the meantime, get out you a blank book, put your bone journal together, and start your daily ritual of pulling a bone and meditating on it and writing about it in your journal. Use the comment section below to share your thoughts and ideas on this journey. And please, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and feel free to share this video across your social media platforms. Uh, have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time.